Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the RDT protocol 2.1 version. In that, we have handled the acknowledgement and negative acknowledgement packets instead of the data packets. So, in previous protocol, we have care about the packets if packet is corrupted or not. So, in this protocol, we have care about if acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement corrupted or not instead of packet. In sender side, we need to add a sequence number to the packet. It is either 0 or 1. It is enough and sufficient to add 0 and 1 sequence number in packet. Sender also check the acknowledgement and negative acknowledgement packet with sequence number if it is received corrupted or not. It can be twice as many state because if sender received the acknowledgement packet properly but the receiver cannot know the packet acknowledgement packet it properly received at sender or not. Receiver doesn't know about whether that acknowledgement received at sending side is properly or not. So, the receiver doesn't know about the acknowledgement packet is properly received at sender side. So, to solve this problem, we need to add a sequence number with that packet. So, at receiving side, receiver must check if received packet is duplicate or not. If so, then it send the acknowledgement and state indicate whether 0 or 1 in expected packet sequence number. So, receiver doesn't know if the last acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement received ok at sender side or not. Let us see how RDT 2.1 works. So, in this FSM, let us understand first sender side. So, this event means the data received from the above layer create a packet with data checksum field value. Now, in this protocol, we have add one extra field 0 which is sequence number and then that packet to the below layer using this function. Now, in this state, it wait for the acknowledgement and negative acknowledgement from receiving side. Suppose the receiving packet is received correctly at receiving side, the packet is not corrupted and acknowledgement is correct. It received the proper positive acknowledgement, then no action to be taken. So, state will change from new. Now, in case the acknowledgement packet is corrupted, packet received properly, but acknowledgement packet is corrupted and negative acknowledgement, then it retransmit the last packet to the receiver. Now, in this state, it received the packet, it received the data from the above layer, now creating a packet with data and checksum value. Now we need to add the sequence number 1 in retransmission case. Then it send the same packet to the below underlying channel. And here for the sequence number 1, it wait for the acknowledgement and negative acknowledgement packet. In case the packet it received and it is not corrupted, and proper acknowledgement, then no action to be taken and state to be changed, initial stage. In this case, the packet is received and acknowledgement packet is corrupted or negative acknowledgement, then retransmission request occur. So, last packet will be sent to the receiver. So, now in receiving side, Initial stage, it wait a packet from below layer. Packet is received and it is not corrupted and has proper sequence number 0 with packet. Then it extract data from that packet, deliver that data using deliver data function 
to the upper layer create a packet acknowledgement with checksum value see over here we add checksum field to acknowledgement instead of packet for the recover error and send the packet to the sender so it receiving side in case of the packet received and it is corrupted then action is negative acknowledgement create with checksum packet with checksum value and send the packet to the sender now in case the packet received properly not corrupted and proper sequence number 0 in retransmission case then the only acknowledgement and with checksum field value creating a packet and send it to sender but in case the packet received and it is not corrupted and having sequence number 1 instead of 0 then it again extract the data from packet deliver that data to the above layer using deliver data function and create a packet with acknowledgement and checksum field value and send that packet to the sender see similar over here it is mirror action events but difference is only the sequence number see the this is for the sequence number 0 this is only for the sequence number 1 see similar event and action for the sequence number 0 and this is for sequence number 1 so using this protocol we have to resolve the error in acknowledgement in negative acknowledgement control packet in sending and receiving transmission in next video we will discuss about the rdt 2.2 version in that we have only used the acknowledgement packet thank you